jump rope. We, we jump rope all the time, okay? And we just, you know, for the feet and the big toe and all of that stuff. So we always throw a jump rope in all of our um, workouts. So now, just with these three exercises, okay? So now, I'm gonna take the get up and break it down into phases, okay? And so my first exercise would be, all right, we're gonna get up to the elbow for five. And, I just want, and we're watching this, and we're perfecting it, and we're making sure we're doing it right. There's no rush, there's no time limit we gotta beat. We just wanna see them do that. Okay, and then the next next thing we do, I'm gonna get up, get on their, get up on their feet, and I'm gonna get them to a dead dead variation. Okay, we're gonna go ten there. So you go from the get up to right into our dead dead, and this is what we can do with everybody. We do this with 25 kids. Okay, and they go to their dead dead, and then the next phase would be to go to our swing variation. So I would start off, say for a beginner, it would be um, light get up, it could be shoot get up to the elbow, ten light kettlebell dead lifts. Uh, Light kettlebell deadlifts, medium kettlebell deadlifts. Okay, and then it's a 10 swings. And then I'm gonna come back around. Then I'm gonna work from the get up from the top down. Okay, maybe we just go here, okay? And I can send you all this stuff, okay? I can just work on reversing my get up with the neutral spine, push it up, and standing up. We will go there for a while. Maybe five right, five left. So you can see I'm breaking down the get up and teaching them as we work out. And then I'm gonna get into maybe my single arm conventional deadlift with some kind of external cue. That could be the next set, okay? We're going one arm at a time, okay? Third exercise, maybe we go into a power swing, okay, or the, the, the kettlebell variation. Maybe we go into power swings on this set, okay? Oh, power swings could come first before we go continuous, okay? Jump rope, come back to the get up. Now we're gonna work on the half, wheel and, uh, half <laughs> windmill part. So from here, just get them to move through the hip, get that hand in place because this is where they need to be. Boom, and pushing up, and again, here, just moving through that hip, getting that hand down, loading that hip, keeping this knee up, and explosive, okay? That's a real stability challenge when you do that, okay? Hit them on my feet, um, and again, we go back to the swing, if they're advanced, maybe you go to a one-arm swing, okay? It depends on where they are. If you still need to work on the two-hand swing, just keep hammering the two-hand swing. You don't need to go to the one-arm swing, but you get what I'm doing. I'm just building up the program and advancing and progressing where it needs